let's start with your past position okay so here in the past you have the energy of the four of swords so rest and rejuvenate this is speaks about you have taken the time to just see within and see what works for you and what doesn't and make some adjustments into your life and really focus on what it is makes you what is making you happy and moving forward and detaching yourself from any negative energy from the past or any toxicity why i'm saying that because here in your past position as well you have the devil clarified by the knight of swords and if you can see the knight of swords is leaving the devil behind so this was a very toxic energy for you some addictions or perhaps you're overcoming an addiction or you detach from a specific person or situation that was toxic to you and you're definitely you knew exactly what needed to be needed to be done but you were working on yourself to gather the strength in order for you to do so and you've been so focused into achieving that and bravo bravo <laughs> you have done that beautifully and i'm so so proud of you whoever is going through this situation that wasn't an easy ride for you to do so but you have beautiful amazing amazing changes ahead okay this is in your past so uh, to me it feels like you have already gone through um through this okay although you felt or you're feeling at the moment some emotional loss but uh, when you're gonna see whatever is coming your way you are not going to feel like it is a loss anymore because whatever situation it is for you or whoever this person may be really did help you here oops let me show you did help you to grow materially and spiritually and help you to rebalance your life so this person was, or this situation was really really putting you out of balance and we're gonna see why okay you were out of synchronicity definitely here in your foundation you were out of synchronicity you didn't know what to do you wanted to break free and you were but you were keeping yourself in limbo and that was you with you huh? no one else and you were preventing yourself from completing this cycle but somehow this cycle has been completed for you and this cycle has turned into your favor and the waiting time is over because here you have beautiful new beginnings okay you have the ace of cups and the ace of wands so either a brand new offer of love for some of you and you're gonna take action on it okay or a brand new beginning when it comes to any situation or any relationship or friendship you uh, are going uh, like uh, yeah you are experiencing at the moment if you see this is the hand coming from out of nowhere offering you new beginnings and to me this energy was draining you from any creativity or any um, let's say improvement into your life and you will realize that as soon as you will let go completely of this energy and you did let go things will start happening into your life and you're ready for that look everything is coming your way new love new beginning creativity in action <clears throat> You could be uh, dealing with either a Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, you have Cancer as well. Could be any sign, their moon and rising sign, okay? So, oh my God, that's, that's such a beautiful reading. Three aces together, and here you have the Ace of Pentacles. When you read, will be, this is the, the card of Temperance, and it also speaks to Sagittarius, but to me here, this is when you will balance yourself, your emotions, and balance everything around and be moderated with um, everything that is coming through you you have gone through your emotional ups and downs i feel 
okay and um for some of you for some of you are still going through that but you will have brand new beginnings from everywhere everywhere work wise relationship wise everything everything will reignite if something was like not working in your favor this is your time libra it felt it feels like you have removed a chain that was holding uh your feet from like um walking really like a heaviness and but now you just remove that and you will see you will start running running fast and things are going to start happening why because you have shifted this toxic energy out of your life and that's perfect really perfect you definitely here <clears throat> you need this strength or you are having this strength within definitely you are very, very like stronger than you think you are you're very strong and here with this strength you have you're creating a life you love a life you're proud of achieving what you want what your heart desires and just being proud of your life and happy within be happy with with what you have and focusing on your family or really just being okay with yourself and you need a lot of strength and a lot of work in order to reach that. But you are here already. You are going to feel this way already. That's amazing. That's why you know the emotional loss here. I will, I will consider it like if it's a part of the past. Because I don't feel any heartache coming here your way or anything. Um, you definitely left what is not serving you behind and you're running fast moving forward you're taking on the chariot action and it's fast movement into something prosperous for you so could you could also be dealing with a cancer or could, could also a cancer helping you moving forward from this toxicity or the situation you had to leave okay but definitely moving forward to new beginnings now here you have <clears throat> the hermit in the reverse with the ten of cups in the reverse so it's okay to take some introspection time okay but what is not okay is to stay long time alone and into your introspection mode and not focusing on what is happening around you here with the ten of cups you know and not um actually what to, how to put it into words not actually see the beauty of life okay so it is still okay to take some time for you but don't go into depression mode because it's definitely not worth it definitely not okay you're definitely moving forward as i said with the chariot card here so it's okay sometimes you will have to question back yourself but look what's around you here and count your blessings okay because you these ten of cups here will help you get out from this uh, hermit mode okay here in your environment you have the moon and the page of cups so definitely here you are experiencing an emotional situation maybe one you don't have much experience with or I mean, yeah, you're just experiencing something new, but something new, perhaps getting to know how to do things on your own or getting to know how to be um, fulfilled and happy within on your own. Uh, of course, each and every person is different, like uh, going through different situations here, but you have the strength and the conviction, um, the convictions and, you know, to face anything in the outside world you really you really you're so strong you're stronger than you think you are you have no idea you've worked so much here with the strength card to achieve the nine of pentacles the energy of the nine of pentacles you have and you are definitely um 
definitely strong within to reach, um, you know, this uh, fulfilling, fulfilling experience. Even if you think you're not experienced much uh, to face what it is you need to face in the outer world, but you definitely are. Okay. And here you're with the moon together. You are going to be guided by your intuition and your dreams. And this will help you face your fears. And exactly this is what I thought. This is like facing the fears of perhaps being alone or facing the fears of um, experiencing something on your own. But even if you have to face your fears and do a little at the time, you know, the most important here is to really attend your soul. And this is, to me, this is you. Okay? You're really attending your soul and you are really strong within, as I said previously. Okay? In your hopes and fears, you either have some secrets here, Libra, that you are keeping away and it is okay so your fears is either you're afraid that your secrets will come up to light and your hopes and um, this is the way i really strongly feel it for you you are mostly guided by your intuition your intuition is going to guide you where is the sun and where is the light and to the new big beautiful new beginnings and you know you could see here all the planets are working um, to me here, they're turning in your favor. I see this as a wheel of fortune as well. And it feels like now it's time for the sun to shine on you. And you feel it down, deep down. Okay. And <clears throat> here you have in the outcome. So although you are not going to take full action here on the new beginnings okay you i mean you are going to take action but you are not going to start anything at this present time maybe you will but after the um you know the festivities of christmas and new year there is a little bit of delay here it doesn't mean you are not going to do anything no not at all there is a little bit of delay because of celebration and festivities here around you okay but do not neglect all the hard work you have achieved look here you have come into a beautiful state of balance within you that's amazing you have found you again with the night this is the the sixth of pentacles and you have here the nine of pentacles if you can see how beautiful this card is look at the butterflies around this person transformation all around you feeling fulfilled within yourself i mean achieving what your heart desires like beautiful 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 so ladybird flowers butterflies amazing i'm very happy for you libra i'm so proud of you this energy here it was about time to let it go i can't remember how many readings i've done for you and for, uh, re private readings as well and every time there was this devil coming into your life as i said you could be dealing with uh, capricorn sagittarius cancer leo could be their moon and rising sign as well you also have the card of virgo but you know let's keep an open mind and each and every one of you is going through something different but if this does not apply to you then uh, take only the messages that you resonate with and keep in mind we're only in the beginning of the month of december and you will resonate with those energies a little bit uh, in the middle and the end of the month if you don't resonate with it uh, right now okay we're gonna do a potential love spread so you can bring in the energy of your partner ex-partner lover whoever uh, you want to inquire about and we are going to be using the romance angel cards 
clarified by the witch's tarot deck. Here you have either you've been deceived from this person you're inquiring about and has have it, it did have oh can't even talk it did leave you unhappy about a specific situation so either it it deceived you and you turn back into what is important to you and it's your home and your stability and your foundation okay or it deceived you when it comes to your stability, your home and foundation. I hope I'm clear. Um, so this, per uh, okay, let me take all the cards out and then I will definitely Okay. So this person has done something, okay, to you that really left you um disappointed okay so it either left you disappointed and it did destabilize your home somehow or you recon you you focused your energy into what makes you happy okay you left it on the side and you focused your energy in what makes you happy the person you're dealing with or you're inquiring about have finance she has financial uh, finances and financial issues and um, you know they need to focus on their career so they're not really giving you or they didn't give you as much attention as before perhaps this is why you're deceived or disappointed okay they had absolutely nothing to give and they are not balanced emotionally at the moment okay and uh, they're more focusing into their career and they their finances but definitely this is the potential of this relationship you one of you is trapped although you had or you have free will to walk away no you still like to be trapped so this is definitely a past life relationship somebody you have known from the past and somebody that you know it, he feels or she feels so familiar that it is very difficult for you to get rid of this attachment but again these are all energies and if we link this to the to the previous reading to me you have already gone through this detachment okay the advice here so yeah the advice here is to trust I really see this card in a very different way. I'm going to tell you why. This card is showing you to trust and to keep on having faith in love. Yes, that's amazing. You should still keep faith in love. However, with the five of cups in the reverse, and to me, you're... You are overly crying over somebody that has left you out in the cold. But trust me, if this person has left you out in the cold once, they will always do. So combining this card together, trust that if this happened to you once, it will always be a pattern. So break free. If you still didn't, break free, remove this blindfold and run. Run fast because what's coming your way is beautiful. Okay, this is for some of you, not everybody. For some of you. Now, for others of you, you this could apply to either you or your partner. Okay, for others of you, you need to give trust to this relationship and, you know, remove like this other burden of like crying over spilled milk you know just remove this um feeling because this person is still very present into your life okay again i don't know who you're dealing with so i'm giving different scenarios here okay 
But uh, for some of you, trust, if this person have, has left you in the cold once, they will always do it. Always. And again, the potential here, you're always going to have this chemistry between you two. There is a very strong magnetic attraction here. And somehow I see this card and I remember the devil before, the Capricorn. And you have to be strong to not fall again into the trap. And you are strong. You definitely are. You know this is not serving you. So honestly, with the deception, the Five of Cups, trust, you trapped them like with financial and, you know, issues. You, do you really need that? Libra? No, the chemistry is within you. You are the one igniting the chemistry. Nobody is igniting the chemistry for you. It is within you. So you will retrieve it with anyone. Anyone. 